spice bush swallowtail caterpillars. Hello, insect enthusiasts! We are going to learn about spice bush swallowtail caterpillars today. If you want to read along with us, you can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a spice bush swallowtail caterpillar? Spice bush caterpillars are a type of caterpillar found in eastern North America and Canada, mainly in wooded areas and gardens. As they mature through metamorphosis, the spice bush caterpillar becomes the spice bush swallowtail. Swallowtails are a type of butterfly known for their large dark wings with colorful patterns at the bottom. While in this caterpillar stage, they shed their skin five times as they grow. Each stage is called an instar. In the first three stages, the insect is small, dark green, and white, growing each time it sheds its skin. In the fourth and fifth stage, the spice bush swallowtail caterpillar changes color. It turns bright green or yellow with dark black spots on its head. It also has a pink bottom half and some blue spots down its back. Spice bush caterpillars are nocturnal. They hide inside during the day when it is shedding its skin, then come out at night to eat. They create a safe shelter during the day to protect from predators. To do so, the caterpillar creates silk threads on both sides of a leaf, and as the silk dries, it pulls the leaf closed around it, creating a camouflage shelter that looks like a rolled leaf. What do they eat? These colorful insects are picky eaters. They mostly like to eat leaves from a few special plants. Their favorite plant is the spice bush, which, of course, is where they get their name. The spice bush has soft green leaves that give the caterpillars plenty of nutrients to grow big and strong. In addition to spice bush leaves, these caterpillars also enjoy sassafras leaves. Did you know that root beer gets its sweet flavor from sassafras leaves and the root bark? While modern root beer uses artificial flavorings, the original recipe relied on sassafras root for its distinctive taste. If you crush a sassafras leaf and stem, it will likely smell like root beer. No wonder caterpillars are attracted to it. Sassafras is another plant that grows in the same forests and gardens where spice bush caterpillars live. Sometimes they also eat leaves from the sweet bay and tulip trees. These plants all have easy leaves for the caterpillars to chew and digest. A spice bush swallowtail caterpillar may spend its entire life on just one or two plants known as a host plant. The insects hatch from eggs laid on that plant and create a leaf shelter there, eating leaf after leaf as they grow bigger and stronger. Because they only eat a few types of plants, they depend on these plants to survive. Other interesting facts. Spice bush caterpillars are like tiny magicians. To protect themselves, they use some clever tricks. When young, they look like bird droppings, which keeps birds from eating them because the birds don't want to eat their own droppings. As they grow, the caterpillars change colors to bright green or yellow and get dark spots on their heads that look like snake eyes. These false eyes scare away predators by making the caterpillar look like a small snake. If the caterpillar feels scared, it curls its head down and lifts its snake head to make the trick even more real. That's not all its tricks to keep predators away. When it feels threatened, a strange orange forked organ can pop out from behind its head. This organ is called an osmeterium, and it smells terrible. The osmeterium's foul odor and the insect's general odd appearance scare away predators. Many spice bush swallowtail caterpillars have a red osmeterium, which looks like a snake's tongue and makes their disguise even better. One interesting thing about the spice bush caterpillar is how it changes depending on the season. As it prepares for its metamorphosis, it forms a chrysalis. The hard shell protects it as it transforms into a butterfly. The chrysalis looks like a curled-up leaf. 
If the caterpillar makes its chrysalis in the spring or summer, it's usually green to blend in with the green leaves. But if it's later in the season, in fall or winter, and the caterpillar has to spend the winter in its chrysalis, it turns brown to look like a dead leaf. Why are they important to the environment? These interesting caterpillars are an essential part of the food chain. Many animals, including birds, spiders, dragonflies, and wasps, prey on spicebush swallowtail caterpillars. Although the caterpillar has innovative ways to protect itself, it still helps feed other animals. Some animals might have trouble finding enough to eat without caterpillars like these. That could throw off the balance of the whole ecosystem. When they become spice bush swallowtail butterflies, they visit flowers to drink nectar. As they fly from flower to flower, the beautiful butterflies help spread pollen. This process is called pollination, and it helps plants grow and make seeds. So even though they start small, spice bush swallowtail caterpillars play a significant role in helping plants, animals, and the environment stay healthy and connected. Wow! We have learned some fascinating facts about these curious creatures. Let's review. Number one, true or false? Spice bush swallowtail caterpillars are picky eaters. True. Number two, what do spice bush swallowtail caterpillars have on their heads that scare away predators? They have dark spots on their heads that look like snake eyes, scaring would-be predators away. Number three, choose the word the author would say least describes the spice bush caterpillar. A, colorful. B, diurnal. C, inconspicuous. D, adaptive. E, camouflaged. If you said B, diurnal, you're correct. Great work, caterpillar experts. If you are interested in cool facts about other creatures, make sure to check out learnbright.org for more fun lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.